Hi, I'm Jude Crewald, a freelance Zendesk consultant here today on behalf of Solto to demonstrate and explain the difference between Zendesk triggers and Zendesk automations, and when you should pick one over the other. Let's head over to the admin center to dive straight in. First of all, what are triggers and automations? Well, they're the names that Zendesk gives to two different features, both of which can automate repetitive tasks within Zendesk. Triggers and automations are both comprised of two key parts, conditions and actions. Think of that as input and output. In this sense, they're really identical. Let's imagine we're going to create a new trigger and a new automation to see how similar they are before exploring their differences. From the admin center, head over to objects and rules, and then down to triggers, which you'll notice is just above automations. Click on add trigger. Here in the new trigger page, we can see that besides the name and description, a trigger requires conditions and actions. So that's the page for a trigger. Let's hop over to the page for a new automation. Now that the formatting is a bit different, it's really exactly the same in terms of layout. We've got the automation title, then it asks us for some conditions, and then it asks us for some actions. So in that sense, triggers and automations are nearly identical. They both have titles, conditions, and actions. If we dig a bit deeper, however, we can see that this is where the similarities end. Looking through the list of possible conditions on an automation, we see that not only are there ticket-based conditions, there are also time-based conditions. If we head over to the triggers page and create a new trigger, nowhere within the triggers conditions section is there any option for us to use a time-based condition. Why not? It comes down to when Zendesk checks to see if a trigger or an automation should be fired. Every time a ticket is updated, Zendesk will check if it meets the conditions of any of your triggers. So a ticket being updated is the only time Zendesk will check if a trigger needs to run on that ticket. Conversely, Zendesk automations are checked a given number of minutes or hours after a ticket update takes place. For example, one hour after a ticket is updated. This is fundamentally the difference between triggers and automations. Triggers are made to be fired instantly when certain ticket updates occur, whereas automations are made to be fired a set amount of time after a ticket update has occurred. Thus, triggers are brilliant for instant actions that need to happen as soon as your conditions are met, whereas automations are perfect for delayed actions that should happen sometime after your conditions are met. For this reason, all automations need to have at least one time-based condition so Zendesk knows when to check to see if the automation should fire. Let's demonstrate this by creating a use case trigger and an equivalent use case automation. Let's imagine we want to send an email to myself every time a new ticket is created and the priority is set to urgent. Give it a name, add our first condition, which is simply that we want a ticket to be created. Zendesk have moved some of these options around, so you might have to dig a bit. Next up, tell Zendesk that we only want this trigger to fire if the person who creates the ticket is an end user. As we said at the start, we only want this to apply to tickets where the priority has been set to urgent. Finally, let's add our action. This is just an example action. You could have anyone that you wanted. For this example, if a ticket is created by an end user and the priority is urgent, then I will receive an email saying a new urgent ticket has been created. So we can go ahead and click create. This is a great demonstration of how a Zendesk trigger can instantly update you the moment a ticket is updated or created and certain conditions are met. Now let's go have a look at automations which rather than giving us an update straight away, we'll have normally have a time-based delay built in. 
head over to automations, add automation, give it a name, Now, let's create the same conditions with a slight twist. So there isn't the same option for ticket is created that we had under triggers. Instead, we use ticket status is new, which is very similar and will work the same effect here. Then again, we want the role of the person creating the ticket to be an end user. And finally, to mimic our trigger, the ticket priority to be set to urgent. Now, if we go and add the same action as before to email a user, i.e. me, and we try and click Create Automation, we'll see that there's an error. And this says, an automation that runs multiple times per ticket is not allowed. Crucially, use a time-based condition that is true only once. So this is the real difference between a trigger and an automation. An automation must have a time-based condition. So whereas our trigger would tell us the moment a ticket was created where the priority was urgent, an automation can tell us an hour after, three days after, whatever we want. So therefore the different use cases. So let's add a time-based condition. Let's say hours since created is one. Very simply, this means that if a new ticket is created by an end user, end user where the priority is urgent, an hour after the ticket is created, I'll receive an email. Perfect. Let's give that a go now. And that's all worked. In summary, a trigger's conditions will be checked every time a ticket is updated, so they're perfect for instant actions. On the other hand, automations are time-based. They're not checked every time a ticket is updated. Instead, they're checked the specified number of minutes, hours, or days after an update occurs. And you get to specify what that time delay is, which could be really powerful for things like notifications or customer satisfaction. I hope that's been helpful. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.